Okay, I've got four uh, folding quads here that I've done reviews on. I'll put links down in the description so you can have a look at the individual ones. But this is basically to show you the physical size of them and uh, what they're actually like when they're folded up. And then also I'm going to unfold them in a second so you can have a look at that as well. And a big question that I actually ask myself and I get asked on the channel a lot is will it carry an action cam? Because some of the quality of the uh, actual cameras that they come with isn't particularly great uh, so if it can carry an action cam then obviously you've still got a nice small little quad that you can carry in your pocket you can operate it from your phone uh, and then you could put say something that would shoot 4k on it as well so the part I'm going to use uh, or the camera I'm going to use to do that with is just a little Firefly Q6 this one's well battered um, came right into rocks one time uh, straight onto lens and it's really scratched it up really quite badly uh, but I'm not too worried about that because it's an awful day in the Highlands today it's really dark and it's just overcast and miserable so it's not going to be great footage anyway it's to prove whether or not we can shoot jello free a nice smooth video uh, with the capability of shooting 4k so um, and this will do that and it will produce exactly the same whether it's HD or 4k and to be perfectly honest our broadband is almost still dial up here in the Highlands so uh, it would take me ages to put 4k up and there's no need for this application at all. I've got a little bit of foam this is just out of packing that came with one of the quads uh, and I'm just going to actually strap that underneath with an elastic band and just literally hold it underneath and that's the way I'm doing it that's as technical as I'm going to get but that's what I'd want to do this in your uh, jacket pocket and this in your pocket as well and then you could like say you could be shooting 4k when you're out and about so physical size these as you can see the um the peg 116 uh, is nice and small fits in your hand so there's the Isheen 58 nice and small once we move up to the vizio uh, uh this is the xs 809 and then we, we've got the xy uh, 017 here so and as you can see once you start getting up to these ones they're actually quite big this is definitely going into a rucksack or a bag uh, and so is this one as well and the other thing with the xy is the legs stick out a long way they don't fold in or anything uh, but it is quite a substantial quad and so is the Vizio. These ones really are pocketable um, jacket pocket, I would say. So let's just fold a couple of them out and then you can actually see them physically once we actually fold them out. And obviously uh, the props are actually different on the style of these ones is totally different to the uh, style of the ones on the larger quads. The larger quads are the big uh, sort of ordinary sort of props and these are the sort of fold out the way ones. So, and you can see the, the physical size of them is, is a huge difference. So. And if you're watching them on two separate videos, obviously perhaps you don't appreciate that there is that much difference between the two of them. Uh, these are much beefier arms as well and much beefier motors. So, so there we go. That's what I'm testing. And um, let's see how I get on. I'm going to run through them uh, and then at the end I'll give a summary of what I really thought of them at the end of it. Oh no, it's holding it. It is carrying. Oh no, 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 it's not. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that's why I didn't put a super duper camera on there. <laughs> yeah, that's got absolutely no chance of holding it, I don't think. Yeah, it's just, even at full power, it's just doing nothing. So, now nah, that's fair enough. It's a very tiny lightweight, and uh, I just had a feeling that one wasn't going to do it. But uh, you got to do the test, I think, <laughs> into the airing cupboard of shame to get uh, dried off now. Hey, <laughs> that's okay. Hey, a nice footage too. Hey, that's working fine. Ah, doesn't have a lot of power for very long. <laughs> yeah, it's really not a happy little bunny. It'll fly, but not for long and not for much. So There we go. So, not really a serious option, I don't think. Okay, so a bit beefier one this time. See whether this has got any more lift in it. Oh yeah, no trouble at all.
Hey, pretty good. FPV's really good on this one as well. Yeah, just literally flying on FPV now. Yeah, really nice. It's still holding as well, and not even had the slightest dropout on the FPV. That's holding well on altitude hold, no problem at all. And the uh, FPV works really well on this one. I'll fly this on FPV, just see how we get on, Joey. What could possibly go wrong? Oh yeah, fair point. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit of stutter there on the FPV, but honestly, not much. I am actually flying it totally on it. I really can't see, I've not even bothered looking up to see whether I can see the quad. Yeah, it's a doddle. Yeah, it's a little bit stuttery for FPV, I must admit, but hey, come on. <laughs> it's doing pretty good. <laughs> it's actually doing amazingly well. Right, okay. That's a fair old flight out of it as well. Oh, if I get around the other side of the house, there's usually when I get drop out on the full system, so that is pretty impressive. Very good indeed. <laughs> Oh, I think we're coming into land. I think I've run out of power. That is amazing. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> okay, so away with this one. That's lifting it, no problem at all. Now this one doesn't have altitude hold, so... But actually, it's not doing bad, is it, really, to be fair? <laughs> yeah, that's a nice smooth flyer as well. That's doing really nicely. I like this quad anyway. Yeah, this one seems to be handling it no problem at all. Nice and smooth. Actually, the actual Wi-Fi FPV isn't too bad, to be perfectly honest. I don't know that I'd have the guts to take it back around the front, to be honest, because I don't think this one's as good as the, the other one for the Wi-Fi. What's the worst that could happen, I guess, would be the question. <laughs> That's really nice, actually. You can keep this so smooth. Yeah, the Wi-Fi doesn't give you that confidence because the camera's not as good. So it really doesn't. <laughs> oh well, we're over there now. We've got no chance of seeing it. So see how we get on, Joey.
Whoop. Oh no, there's a tree there. <laughs> ah! Whoa, well, that was my... Oh, I wussed out and I throttled it off. <laughs> I think it was doing fine. <laughs> oh, I just panicked when I saw the garager. What a wuss. <laughs> it was dodgy on the Wi-Fi, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> At best. <laughs> Nothing to see here, nothing broken. <laughs> a little bit of pride, maybe. <laughs> yeah, still, I think it's fine. I don't think it's... Yeah. It's built for it. <clears throat> I don't know that it thinks it's built for it. Well, that is nice and smooth. That really is nice and smooth, actually. Yeah, lovely. Ah, I think oh, this might might just sort of capture it on the uh, favourite, but it is quite big. Uh, I'll do a full sort of summary inside. Well, actually, I think this one's done. Hmm, this one and another one I've got as favourites, I think, at the moment. Yeah, definitely not as easy a flyable as the other one on the Wi-Fi. But actually, as a as a flying experience, really nice. Actually, I quite like the uh, the fact that it hasn't got the outer shoot hold. How can I like that? I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's just so easy to fly. It's really not difficult, and the flight time is the best I would say so far. That's well, typical. I'm going to put a garage in between me and it now. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm worst out that time. I can still see it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is definitely the longest flight time. And it's not struggling either. That is good. Under the <laughs> motorhome as well. <laughs> yeah, it's quite flyable this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, lovely. <laughs> that is really nice and smooth. I think there's a lot of people like this quad, and uh, I can quite see why actually. Especially when you can carry this load as well. That is very good indeed. Oh, that battery life is incredible. Oh, crikey. Can I go through the hoop from here? It's quite a way away. Yep. <laughs> oh, come on then. Let's gun it. <laughs> I've kept it in low rates on purpose for video. I think it's much nicer and smoother. Makes you fly smoother as well. So. And no, I'm not going to touch the flip button, just in case anyone does think of asking. Ah, this one's definitely a... If you don't want the FPV and you're just happy with uh, flight time and shooting possibility of 4K, this one, I would say, is the winner. And you've just got flashing LEDs and it's still got grunt in it. I'm still not down on the power too much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's still got it. I still reckon that would cover out of there. Oh no, the battery has actually finally gone. That, that's that's why I hit the tree. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's still all right. Oh, it's just my bad pilot in there. I suspect there's uh, rubbish on the lens as well now. Not too bad.
looking at it, the arms aren't actually in the right place, are they? <laughs> is it just me or is that one out at a weird angle? <laughs> Oh yeah, that one was definitely out of position. That's actually made the difference, but <laughs> just shows you how flyable these things are. Oh, there we go. We have finally gone. No, it's gone, gone. That is amazing okay that was different like i said the weather is pretty lousy for filming and uh when you're on any other sort of action cams or even these small mini cams they don't cope well with dark environments and any fast movements that's why i try to keep it reasonably smooth so let's run through basically Esheen 58 total waste of time cannot lift it at all um so uh, you're stuck with what it comes with basically which isn't bad if you look at my review uh, i actually thought the, the the camera wasn't bad for what it is and again very easily portable and the app works really well on this but go and have a look at the review uh, if you want more more information on that one you got the peg 116 it would pick it up off very limited on how long i don't think you get two minutes of flight with it uh you'd be pushing it you it really is a strain for such a small uh, motored uh, quad but it did actually handle it pretty well i was surprised actually uh, because this one's uh, the cheapest out of the whole lot and then we're on to well i would say the big boys but these are still quite small uh, quads in comparison to uh, other ones that i have and other ones you can get as well the uh, xk i really like the app on the xk uh, it's really nice the fpv literally went the other side of my house as you saw and, and no problem at all i never got any drop out at all and then we just ran out of power before i could get it back around you could just about fly fpv i reckon you could put goggles on and if you were careful you could just about get away with it which is amazing it's got a huge benefit as well with the lens uh, it tilts up and it tilts down as well not a huge amount but it but it's enough and the actual quality off the actual on board is pretty good because it does store on board with a, a micro sd card so uh, as you saw in the footage there I was, I was quite impressed with that but if i was going for a quad that i just wanted to carry an action cam with uh, and take out with me it would have to be the vizio uh, that that's just my choice obviously you've got to make your own decisions if if i had to pick one and I, and I was going to come with a stock camera and my ones uh, on here is not particularly good and I'm not particularly impressed with the video camera on here for the quality or anything. Uh, I would be going for this one if it was camera quality and app. Uh, if I'm going for what the test was all about carrying this, this had no trouble at all. Flew really smooth as you saw uh, and is really nice. Um, it was just brilliant. The app isn't particularly good at... Um, giving you full FPV uh, and that's just a bit of a shame really uh, but they do develop them more and might be another app that will fit on it but I've tested it as is uh, and I was very impressed with this it was really good uh, by the way if anyone's wondering everything was held on like that and then a couple of elastic bands around it that's how they were held on each of the quads exactly the same way and virtually all jello free which I was quite impressed with I hope the video has helped you make some decisions. If you've got any comments or questions or anything, obviously pop them down and I'll get back to you. Um, and hope you enjoy having a look around the channel, see if there's anything else that takes your fancy. Happy flying! Mm -hmm.